This is Nikon's new D750 camera. It's a full frame DSLR that sits in between the D610 and the D810. It's got a 24.3 megapixel sensor, improved video shooting capabilities, and a tiltable screen at the back. Let's take a look at its key features. The most important thing about the D750 is its full frame sensor, which can capture a huge amount of light and detail when you're taking shots. If you're looking to buy this camera, you're probably going to step up from something like a D7100 and its crop frame sensor. So you're taking something which is pretty close to a professional level photo. Elsewhere, the camera has an ISO range of 100 to 12,800. It can shoot at 6.5 frames per second and it features Nikon's much vaunted XP4 processing engine. Although this is primarily a stills camera, it has been built with video in mind. That's partially due to weighing 750 grams for its body only, so it's lightweight enough to take outside and shoot with. It can take footage at 60 frames a second, that's full HD, so an impressive quality. And obviously it's got this flip out screen, which will help with viewing angles when filming. If you own a D610 and want to step up to the D750, then your money is probably better off kept in your pocket. There's the inclusion of Wi-Fi and a slightly better resolution screen at the back, but otherwise not too much to write home about. However, if you own something like a D7100, then the D750 is well worth considering. Nikon's D750 is due out on the 23rd of September and costs £1,800 for its body only. For more information on the D750 and all of our coverage from Photokina 2014, head over to witch.co.uk forward slash technology.